Hey, Shalom. First off, I would like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Kakadash, Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. I want to give a double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, who are me this truth. I want to give a peace and blessings to the I came across the four corners of the earth who teach this truth. I would still like to do so. It's going to be a quick video. Lower when my video is edifying. Lower when I can get something from this video. Uh, I'm going to go through Baruch a little bit. Um, Baruch 4th chapter and the Baruch, and Baruch second, the second chapter is, uh, you know, some of the biggest chapters, you know, which all of the scriptures are, are big. Don't get me wrong. But as far as like the messages that I, that I, that, that, that speak, you know, prophecy that's living right now, that's, that's, that we're currently in. Baruch 4 and Baruch the second chapter. I'm going to get a little bit of both. Low willing is edifying. This is Baruch 4 and 1. It says, This is the book of the commandments of the Most High, man, the law that endureth forever. So that's a cut right there because Christians will tell you that the law is not, uh, that the law is done away with, which is not done away with. Okay. We keep it to the best of our abilities. Now, we're not saved by the law. Okay. We're not saved by the law, but it's the perfect way to live, so why not keep it to the best of your abilities? Keep the things you, you, you can keep, okay? Keep the things you can keep. It says, my day that keep it shall come to life, but such uh, as leave it shall die. Turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated, okay? So, when you know, the illuminated ones, or illuminated means to be like so-called woke, okay? So-called woke, right? This is three, it says, give not thine honor to a, no, I'll go down to four, it says. Four, it says, O Israel, happy we are we for things that are pleasing to the Most High are made known unto us. This is six, it says, you were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because ye moved the Most High to wrath, you were delivered unto the enemies. So we were delivered into the enemies because we because we moved the most high to, to wrath. But, but it wasn't for our destruction. And to prove that, right, because, you know, the most high, he used the our enemies, right, which is the heathen, to uh, to rule over us, right, to punish us, okay? Because ultimately it's coming from him. But to prove their hatred, right, when you read in Zechariah, it tells you uh, that the most high is uh, sore displeased with the heathen that are at ease, man. Okay, because they helped for the affliction. Man, they helped for the affliction. That's what they did. Okay? That's what they did. They boast their hatred. Okay? So guess what? But they're supposed to. They're supposed to boast their hatred. That's what they're supposed to do. They're heathen. Okay? They're heathen. They're not the chosen of the creator. They're not the chosen people of the of the Lord, Yahweh, which which created everything. Okay? Including them. Okay, the Messiah is a favorite people, which is Israel. That's why Israel is going through what they're going through, what we're going through, right? That's why we went through the curses, right? The Messiah went lying. That's why we got sold into all these nations and all these captivities, right? You know, that's why. You know, it's a beautiful thing to be revealed, this word, you know, but this is why. This is why that happened, okay? It says, you were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because you moved the most out of wrath. You were delivered unto the enemies, okay? Unto the enemies, which are the heathen. It says, For ye provoked him that made you made you by sacrificing unto devils and not to the most high. So we provoked them. Okay? You know, we we went off. Okay? I'm gonna go to eight, because eight is I'm gonna go to eight. All right. It says, Ye have forgotten the everlasting power that brought you, and ye have grieved Jerusalem that nursed you. Okay? Let me go down. Uh, go to 10 it says for i saw the captivity of my sons and daughters which ever which the everlasting which is the most high brought upon them right so yeah we got chastised and we're you know we still getting chastised but we had the end of it we had the end of it and how do you know we had the end of it that's when brook 2 comes in As a matter of fact i'll get it real quick check this out this is brook 2 and scriptures say uh you know uh, precept upon precept, line upon line, here, little, there, little. This is this is a perfect example. Why? This is Brook two. And uh, 
I start at 31. It says, and, and, uh, and shall know that, I'm, that I am the Lord, their power. For I will give them an heart and ears to hear, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon their, think upon thy name. That's happening right now. I mean, I'm proving it by making this video. That's that's prophecy. That's prophecy, man. And when I'm not making this video through me, you know, I'm making a video, you know, you know, not of my own doing. I mean, I'm, I'm just a, I'm just a, a spoke person, you know, for the Lord that that no. I'm just a spoke person, Lord willing, for the Lord, you know, Lord willing. I say that humbly, okay, because that's a heavy title. I say that humbly, okay. It says, uh, oh, my world is that? It's like you. Never seen we can let no for a second. It says, let, no, I'll go to 14. It says, let them that dwell in about let them that dwell about Zion come and remember ye the captivity of my sons and daughters, which the everlasting hath brought upon them, for he hath brought a nation upon them from far, a shameless nation, and of a strange language, who neither uh, reverenced old man nor pity child. Okay, so a nation was brought upon us. Okay, a nation was brought upon us that that didn't. You know, that did cruelly, okay? That did cruelly, man. Okay? Esau done, man, he's done cruelly. He's done so much cruel that he's going to be wiped out the face of the planet and the earth. Okay? After he served his time. What does that tell you? Okay? Mosiah said, I've hated Esau, but I love Jacob. Okay? It says, uh, let me go to... Go to 18, it says, For he that brought these plagues upon you will deliver you from the hands of your enemies. So the everlasting, which is the most high, has brought the plagues upon us, but he's going to deliver us from our enemies, from the hand of our enemies. Okay? And it's going to be in a spectacular way this time. Okay? This is 21, it says, Be of good cheer, O my children. Cry unto the Lord, and he will deliver you from the power and the hand of the enemies. Okay? This is 24, and I'm going to read 25. It says, Like as now the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity, so shall they see shortly your salvation from our power, which shall come upon you with with great glory and brightness of the everlasting. My children, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from the Most High, for thine enemy hath persecuted the sea. The wrath hath came upon us from the Most High. Okay? And is, when you go back to 24, it says, Like as now the neighbors, which are the heathen of Zion, have seen your captivity, so shall they see shortly your salvation. So they're going to see our salvation. They're going to see Israel's salvation, man. Okay? Start with the elect, with the elect and the one-third. Okay? It says, this is 25, it says, My children suffer patiently. The wrath that has come upon you from the from come upon you from the Most High. For thine enemy hath persecuted thee, but short, but shortly thou shalt see his destruction and shalt tread upon his neck. So surely we will see his destruction and tread upon his neck. Okay, and that's to come. Okay, that is to come. When you go into, you know, Isaiah 60, it tells you about that. You know, that's, when you read Isaiah 60, that's a clear, like, that's a clear, that's, that's a clear captivity for the other nations. Uh, um. Uh, uh, book chapter to read okay it says uh my children suffer patiently for the wrath of the most high oh, I'll, just, no, I'll just read it back it says my children suffer patiently uh the wrath of the most high has come upon you from uh from Slakia. my children suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from the most high for thine enemy hath persecuted thee but surely thou shalt see his destruction and shall tread upon his neck Okay, though it tarry away for it because it won't tarry. Okay, this is 28. It says, For as it was your mind to go astray from the most high, so being returned, seek him ten times more. Okay. And let me go to the Simmergratus real quick and I'm gonna end it with this. Check this out. This is beautiful. This is Brook 4 and 31. It says, Miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoiced at thy fall. They did not rejoice at our fall, they rejoiced. They laughed, okay. 
This is 32. It says, Miserable are the cities which thy children serve. Miserable is she that received thy sons. Okay, so miserable is, is she that received, you know, the sons of the Most High. Because what? Because ultimate destruction is coming for she, uh, for, for this nation. For as she rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad of thy fall, so shall be so shall she be grieved for her own desolation. For I will take away the rejoicing of her great multitude, and her pride shall be turned into mourning. For fire, man, America's pride is going to be turned into mourning, man. Quick, for fire shall come upon her from the everlasting, long to endure, and shall be inhabited of devils for a great time. And we all know, right, this place, this prophesied about of no man ever coming into this place again, but it's going to be a place that's going to be inhabited by devils. Okay, because after that fire, you ain't going to be able to live here. But it's going to be set up as a example on how not to live, man. Okay, just like Sodom and Gomorrah was supposed to be. But this is Sodom and Gomorrah all over again. This is Egypt all over again. This is Babylon all over again. The virgin daughter of Babylon. Babylon the Great, this is all that. Okay, but with that, man, low will the video is edifying. Low will your brothers got something from this video. I want to give all praises to you. Howl by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Kakwadash. When you tell you, I want to tell you, brothers, keep pushing. I'm going to tell you, brothers, Shalom, stay at Vakim Shalom.